Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In today's session, we are going to discuss a very popular strategy on YouTube. Let me just directly go to YouTube, pick out the strategy, explain you the rules and let us check by back testing it on TradingView. Right, so this is one strategy, 10 EMA jackpot strategy. This strategy is explained by a channel called as Invest Arch for Cull. It has close to three and a half lakh views on his channel. And the same strategy is explained on another channel where he has close to eight lakh views. So approximately more than one million views on this particular strategy. So let me just quickly explain you what exactly this guy says and how, what are the rules of the strategy. So let's go ahead. Firstly, in the beginning, he says that he doesn't want to share his verified PNL because uh, he is always successful and he will share his idea. So a gentle request to everyone, if someone is teaching you a strategy saying that it is jackpot and if he or she is not willing to share his or her verified PNL, then you have to use your own brains to check whether to follow the strategy or not. But let's not go into that controversy. Let's come back to the rules. Speak and the name is 10 EMS. So this is a 10 EMA strategy and uh, he'll explain EMA SMA first. I hope you already know all what is EMA and what is SMA. So he says, first let us plot 10 EMA and then on 10 EMA, if there are consecutive green candles and then after consecutive green candles, if there is a red candle, then we will mark the high of that particular red candle. And if the high of that red candle breaks, we have to take a trade. So in this case, this was a red candle and if the high of this red candle was broken somewhere here, we are supposed to take the trade with stop loss being 10 EMA of previous candles reference point as our stop loss. And he says that and he says that you can have up to 1 is to 10 risk reward ratio also. And for reversal on the bearish side, you have to do the exact same. There is one 10 EMA and there are consecutive red candles and if there is a green candle, we have to mark the low of that candle and if the low of that candle is broken. We have to take a trade with stop loss being again that particular EMA. Now, the same strategy is explained in a little modified way in this another channel where he has said that you can have multiple targets, trailing stop loss, etc. So what I've done is we have actually coded this strategy because it has 1 million plus views. So let us check the strategy's performance. Now, if I go to trading view, you will see this is how the code of the strategy looks like. And there's a beautiful, this 10 EMA. If I go to the settings, I have in the inputs, I have EMA period as 10. Target is risk reward. So we mark the risk. The stop loss is basically the candles. Um, the stop loss is as per the EMA value of the reference candle. And then we take the risk. It can be 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4. To diversify the strategy, I have kept two targets, target 1 and target 2. We can do partial exit at target 1 and we can do partial exit at target 2. If not, we can stick to the original idea as per the author and go with one target only. I have also kept trailing stop loss as per ATR mentioned by him. But right now, I'll keep it off. And then in system, I have kept both intraday mode as well as positional. So whatever the author of the strategy wanted to convey, we have built the strategy accordingly. And now this is how it looks like on the chart. So for example, so for intraday, we'll go to a five minutes chart. And this is a five minutes chart. And this is how the strategy looks like. So in the morning, we'll just wait for the green candle and then we'll wait for the red candles high to be broken. So this candles high is not broken. So we'll go ahead. And finally, this candles high was broken. So there was a buy generated here. So there was a buy signal generated here. And we had two targets, target one, target two. And finally, the target 2 of 1 is to 2 risk reward was also achieved. Similarly, after the target was achieved, again, there was a red color line, red color candle. And then again, the high was broken and then we again take a trade. And in the next candle itself, our 1 is to 2 target was achieved, so forth and so on. So now, if I want to check the performance of the strategy using strategy tester, I already have strategy tester. And if you back test the signals, on a 5 minutes chart, the strategy performance is very poor. It has given minus 5% in last one year where the win rate is 34%. Profitability is 0.958% on a 5 minutes chart. So we have got minus 5% when the risk reward is 1 is to 2. So you can see stop loss is risk 1 and target 2. Target 1 is inactive because we are not doing partial exit in the beginning. So there is only target 2 active that is 2. So we have risk 
to reward one is to two at one is to two the net profit is minus five percent if i make it three let's check what happens at one is to three risk reward it is minus four eight percent if i make it one is to ten as he claims that the strategy can have one is to ten risk reward also it just gives minus ten percent so the strategy is not working on a five minutes chart let us go to maybe a 15 minutes chart and check the performance on a 15 minutes chart the strategy works a little better you will see a very beautiful curve the drawdown is also very very less profitability is 32 percent win rate is and net profit is 51 percent on the chart this is how the strategy looks like you got on intraday we are marking the green candles and if the low is broken we will take a trade so this was the final green candle we marked the low we did a, we did a short ema was our stop loss but the market beautifully came down and our 1 is to 10 ratio was not achieved rather it took a reversal so if i am aiming big targets like 1 is to 10 it will clearly not achieve so maybe i can instead of 1 is to 10 work with maybe 1 is to 2 and check the performance if i use 1 is to 2 you can see there's a short and then the cover of 1 is to 2 was exit so at 1 is to 2 the graph is even more smoother the drawdown is a little less in the initial days we had few loss making days which is represented by this red color line and net profit is 57 to 58 percent on a 15 minutes chart now this might look like a very beautiful strategy but there are a lot of trades there are 1069 trades and if i have to add brokerage taxes and slippage let's do that on the properties in the commission 0.03 percent is the brokerage tax and slippage with a discount broker if i add that now the it says minus 118 so the strategy definitely looks good on the chart but when we add brokerage tax and slippage your bank account will become zero this is the reality of this strategy now moving a step ahead since we have already designed a lot of things in the strategy let us optimize and try to make it profitable after brokerage tax and slippage is there any way that i can make money in this strategy let us explore that in the inputs i have ema 10 target stop loss trading stop loss everything is there now instead of having target and stop loss as per risk that is as per the ema band let me shift it to maybe percentage so what i've done is i've done some modifications i can even switch off the target keep the target in percentage or points or as per risk similarly stop loss can also be in terms of points percentage and risk and again trading stop loss can also be as per points percentage and risk as per atr now let me shift target and stop loss in terms of percentage personally i'll keep target in terms of percentage target one can be one percent target two can be two percent again target one is inactive i will not work on that stop loss can be my ema line so since ema is my stop loss the stop loss is very very small i would keep stop loss as off and trading stop loss also as off the moment i do this target is in terms of percentage stop loss and training stop loss are already off because the stop loss is already very very small look at this for example if i have a short here this ema itself becomes my stop loss and it's automatically trailing in as soon as we have an ema crossover we are getting a cover here so my stop loss is already predefined in terms of ema if i go back i did do i do a buy here and this yellow color line itself is my training sl so as in when the market is going up and if it is trying to reverse we're getting a stop loss triggered here so now my stop loss is in place already as per the analogy target i've kept it in terms of percentage but on a 30 minutes chart also in spite of all the efforts the strategy is still giving me loss so i've done some optimization on this strategy and let me show you the optimized method on the strategy so firstly instead of intraday we'll shift it to positional because the author of the strategy says it can work both intraday and positional clearly it is not working on intraday so let us shift to positional setup so if i go to positional and click on ok the losses have come down drastically from minus 100 percent we are now at minus 17 percent also i have worked around with different time frames so it is not working well with 15 minutes chart let us check on a 30 minutes chart on a 30 minutes chart the strategy starts giving profits so strategy has a profit of 68.8 percent after all the brokerage taxes and slippage you can see in the settings we still have added the commission but in spite of that 
we are still able to make 68% in the last 4 years. This is the last 4 years backtest report. If you see the list of trades, it is 2023 going down all the way till. I'll just take it down from 2019. So last 4 years backtest report has profit of 68% which is fairly low. So what I can do is I can optimize it even more. So rather than 10 EMA, I've checked it with 20 EMA as well. So this is 20 EMA. On 20 EMA, you will see the performance is even better. After all the brokerage, tax and slippages, you walk out with 139% profits in the last four years, which is a very handsome return. Profitability is very good. Win rate is very, very small because here the stop loss are very small and profits are very big. Now also to play around with targets and stop loss, what I've done is I will keep two lots one lot exit at target one remaining lot exit at target two so far only t2 was active let us activate t1 also in this case so what i will do here is i'll just scroll down and instead of quantity as one i'll keep quantity as two and at target one i'll exit 50 percent that is target one i'm exiting one lot remaining i'm carrying forward to target two and the moment i do this look at this i have two lots exiting half at target one and what is the initial capital that i have used in the properties i have used three lakh rupees because to purchase two lots of nifty we need three lakh rupees and i've added brokerage tax and slippage also 0.03 percent on the turnover after adding all of this such a beautiful report so you got a profitability of 256 percent with a win rate of 53 percent Profitability of 1 is to 1.3, drawdown of less than 30%. So the strategy looks really profitable. So, of course, we started with an analogy of 10 EMA jackpot strategy. We got the true colors of the strategy that it just does not work in intraday. Also, this guy claims that he doesn't want to share his verified PNL, which was a big question mark. But we took the idea, we got inspired from the idea. We changed the time frames, we changed the risk reward ratio, we worked around and finally made the strategy profitable. This is how it looks like on the chart. Today is 10th of October. Today, this is how the strategy would have performed. It is a positional setup. So we took a buy somewhere here yesterday. We got exit here, maybe at a small loss. Then we did a short here, again a cover at small loss. And then we did a buy, which is right now running in profits. So this is how the strategy looks like. It will take a lot of your trades and sometimes the trade can give beautiful profits like for example here we did a short here with two lots you will see here it's minus two and at this blue color line at target one you will see tp cover plus one that means take profit partial exit of one lot i'm carrying the another one lot till target two but target two did not achieve rather the market reversed so i exit my one lot at the reversal similarly if i go back I got a buy here, but then there was an exit. Similarly, I got a short here, then there is an exit. Similarly, I got a short here, then a cover. And then there's a short here where I got target one as well as target two. So the days when you will have target one, target two getting achieved, you will make very big profit because your stop loss is hardly few points, but your targets are very, very big. But the days when the market is choppy, you will have a lot of stop losses getting triggered but in spite of so many stop losses in the last four years the win percentage is more than 53 percent risk reward is 1 is to 1.29 that is almost 1 is to 1.3 drawdown is under control and profitability after all the brokerage tax and slippage is superb the reason why i'm doing this video is to show you that any strategy which is very very popular on youtube should not be followed blindly you should always have a habit of backtesting. So once you design that strategy on Ami Broker or TradingView or any other backtesting platform, you can always tweak if the strategy is not performing good result. You can tweak as per your requirement and you can make this strategy more profitable. Also, the strategy can be immediately connected with AlgoFox. In the settings, we also have in the inputs AlgoFox settings. So in the AlgoFox settings, you can add the strategy tag, AlgoFox code. You can even automate trades in options. Yes, that means whenever there's a buy signal generated here, corresponding call can be purchased. It can be ITM, ATM or OTM of your choice. Or if you're an option seller, 
if there is a buy signal generated here corresponding put can also be sold using algofox platform so this is about the strategy it looks good on cash it is on nifty let us use the same parameter on bank nifty and check on bank nifty index futures the same strategy gives a return of just 55 percent with a lot of whip sauce we need to optimize it we need to tweak it it might not work on 30 minutes it might work on any different time frame on a different ema with a different targets and stop loss risk reward so that is something that you have to optimize script wise and once you're comfortable with the result once you see a very smooth graph and then you will get a confidence to apply this in the live market also if you want to purchase this strategy you can visit store.algofox.in and purchase it on opening an account with us in fires or fipasa using our referral link we give up to 80 percent discount on these ready-made strategies so i hope you guys have learned something new and interesting point first point to be learned from this particular video is that any strategy no matter how popular it is on youtube should not be trusted until and unless you don't back test it second if someone is sending you jackpot strategy profitable strategy 90 percent accurate strategy do not believe in him or her until and unless they don't share their verified pnl third if you like the idea get it coded optimize on your own get satisfied with the result only then automate live before automating the trades paper trade for few days and then finally automate so guys that's it for today if you have any strategy in your mind and if you have any good youtuber who has millions of views on any strategy let me know that in the comment section i will go through that strategy even if i find it interesting i'll definitely automate that strategy on trading view back test and showcase with the report all right see you guys in the next session